GRE tunnels. GRE tunnels are probably the most commonly used and most well-known tunneling mechanism, VPN mechanism. They are basically manual tunnels. You need to configure the device. There is no automation here. I mean the tunnel endpoint information, tunnel endpoint reachability information is not automatically derived, but you need to know it and you need to configure it. They are point-to-point -point tunnel. They are not point-to-multipoint or multipoint-to-multipoint -to -multipoint tunnel. So we will see some of the tunneling mechanisms, VPN mechanisms, support, point to multi point and multi point to multi point as well. We will see very important characteristic of uh, GRE tunnel is basically on top of GRE tunnel. You can run any routing protocol, okay, including ISAS. ISAS cannot run on top of many other VPN mechanism, but on top of GRE, you can run ISAS as well. GRE tunnel can be created on top of IPv4 and IPv6 infrastructure. Underlying infrastructure can be IPv4 and IPv6. Also, on top of GRE, as an overlay, we can run IPv4 and IPv6. So any of the IPv4 routing protocols, any IPv6 routing protocols like OSPF version 3, uh, EIGRP, ISAS again can run on top of GRE tunnels. So this is good thing. Uh, and the, probably the most important difference between GRE and MGRE, the other technologies is GRE and MGRE supports non-IP traffic as well. So that's why actually ISAS can run on top of GRE because ISAS is layer two based CLNS. Uh, and can run on top of GRE. We will see DM VPN will not support and get VPN. You cannot create any routing protocol neighborship because in get VPN there is no tunnel in the first place. So there is no overlay mechanism on top of get VPN. But here in GRE we can run. The problem with GRE, the disadvantage of GRE, it's point to point. And if you have lots of many sites, like hundreds of sites, Creating point-to-point -point tunnels between each and every site definitely uh, is configurationally very complex and you will have lots of state in the control plane. So your CPU and memory will suffer greatly. Scalability, that's why, is a concern with the GRE in a large-scale design, okay? That's the important thing. You have to remember this. But for hub and spoke topologies, and if it's not really large scale, like hundreds of uh, spoke sites, remote sites, branch offices, if you don't have, and if just a small environment with GRE, uh, you can just create a hub and spoke topology. Basically, in the VPN theory, as I explained, any VPN mechanism, any VPN technology, it's extra. Uh, information that's why MTU increases with the GRE 24 bytes because with the new IP header is coming with the GRE and it's 20 byte and GRE header 4 bytes so 24 bytes don't forget GRE of course doesn't come up with the encryption by default but if you are running GRE on top of private infrastructure you may not need to have encryption depends on uh, policy depends on uh, country regulation so on and so forth but if you are running GRE on top of public infrastructure again depends on the data type uh, sensitivity company policy you can run uh, IPsec with the GRE so you can encrypt the traffic uh, that's the important thing very cl classical use case of GRE is uh, either you carry the VRF on top of GRE, by the way, we, you can also carry the VRF through the layer two, uh, so dot one Q trunk, and GRE is another way. But of course, again, the scalability might be concerned. So if you have lots of VRF, or if you are a service provider, VPN service provider, and you have lots of VPN customers, you wouldn't carry uh, all those VRF information, different customer information with the GRE, but you would create MPLS VPNs. So either layer 2 or layer 3 MPLS VPNs and it would be scalable. Here we are talking very few, uh, couple VRF and on top of GRE it can be carried. Another use case is IPv6 tunneling as a transition mechanism. When you have IPv6 traffic 
uh, needs to reach through the IPv4 infrastructure to the IPv6 internet. So basically, you can tunnel it. GRE in this case, again, manual tunnel. Tunnel endpoints is not derived automatically. So there is no IPv4 endpoint address embedded into IPv6 address so on and so forth. Because in IPv6 transition mechanisms, in many of them actually, automatic, automated ones is supporting either automatically derived endpoint. So you embed IPv4 endpoint, IPv4 address into an IPv6 or tunnel endpoint is basically learned through the authoritative servers. Tunnel brokers is used in this purpose. But GRE is also used as a transition mechanism. GRE in this case is manual tunnel. Again, scalability might be concerned. Lastly, what I want to say, if you want to run, let's say, routing protocol on top of IPsec, you cannot run because IPsec by default doesn't support multicast and OSP, FIS, AS, EIG, IRP, as you know, basically the neighborship is set through the multicast with these technologies, OSP, FIG, IRP, ISAS. If you want to run this routing protocol on top of IPsec, you cannot run, but you can run GRE over IPsec and you can run routing protocol on top of this tunnel and then you are okay. After GRE, I will cover MGRE, you can go to the next video.